Hello and welcome to Doxy Crime Documentaries. Today, we are looking into the disturbing case of Luca Magnotta, infamously known for the murder of June Lin, in which he filmed and they uploaded online. The video began to spread online and was known as One Lunatic, One Ice Pick. Right, let's dive straight in. Luca Rocco Magnotta, born Eric Clinton Kirk Newman, was born on July 24, 1982, in Scarborough, Ontario, the son of Anna Yorkin and Donald Newman. He was the first of their three children. Like many future killers, Magnata's upbringing wasn't an easy one. His father suffered from schizophrenia and his mother was a germaphobe who would make Magnata scrub his hands raw when washing. He himself spent time in mental hospitals and in 2002 was diagnosed with schizophrenia. He dropped out of high school and attempted to find a career as a model and actor, while working as an escort, stripper, and porn actor, in 2007, he auditioned for the Canadian modeling reality show Cover Guy. Then he had plastic surgery and a year later, auditioned for another show, Plastic Makes Perfect, by all accounts. He was desperate for fame. Magnata was an unsuccessful competitor in all reality TV shows he applied in. Magnata was so desperate for fame, he began to create many profiles on various internet, social media, and discussion forums over several years to plant a variety of claims about himself. Among other things, he purported to be a successful model and a prominent porn star. Magnata first attracted online attention when he started posting videos of cats, and not the cute, funny kind. In 2010, a series of videos were posted online in which Magnata suffocated and drowned kittens. These weren't his first crimes. He had already been convicted of fraud in 2004 after racking up $17,000 on a friend's credit card. And in 2005, he was accused of sexually assaulting a woman. The videos inspired internet outrage, and soon, a community of amateur sleuths via Facebook were working together to try to find the man behind the videos. A tip led them to Luca Magnata, a man who had inspired countless fan sites, fan sites he had created, as it would later turn out. To be honest with you, and, um, and it's all because of the small rumor of you dating Carl Hamoka. That's this is the thing that's the rumors destroyed my life, basically, and um. I've been receiving death threats. My address is posted, that's why I had to move. Uh, I want my Pomeranian back. It was taken out of my SUV. They even located Magnata's apartment complex in Toronto, thanks to GPS data and Google Maps. In the meantime, Magnata posted another video, one in which he fed a cat to a snake. He started hinting he might graduate to humans. John Line was a 33-year-old student who had moved to Canada in 2010. He was studying computer science and engineering at Concordia University. Online, he'd post pictures of his cat and talk about feeling lonely. he had only been in Canada for a couple of years and was older than most of his classmates. A fellow student told the Globe and Mail he was looking for love. Lin was gay, but an ex of his, Feng Lin, reported at Magnata's trial that he felt pressure from his family to marry a woman. The two had broken up in the months leading up to his death. In 2012, Magnata had put an ad on Craig's list looking for sex and bondage. Lean responded, and they met on 24th May. Security footage captured them entering Magnata's building that evening. That night, Lynn sent a text to his ex. At the time, he would have been waking up to say good morning. It was the last text that Lynn ever sent. A day after the two met... Magnata posted another video. This one was called One Lunatic, One Ice Picks. The video captured the savage murder of June Lin. In it, Magnata stabbed Lin, who was tied up with an ice pick, before performing necrophiliac acts and dismembering the body. Viewers reported seeing acts of cannibalism. A dog also appeared in the video. Hours later, Magnata booked a round-trip ticket for a flight from Montreal to Paris. By May... Viewers of the video were attempting to report the crime to police, but their reports were largely dismissed as authorities believed the video was fake. By then, Magnata had already started disposing of the body. CTV captured him throwing bags into the bin. On 29th May in Montreal, Mike Nadeau, 
who worked as a janitor, found a suitcase that had been sitting outside for days. He'd ignored it before, but now the suitcase was emitting a foul smell. When he opened it, he found a man's torso inside. In Ottawa, a parcel was delivered to a Conservative Party's office. It was soaked with blood. Inside, there was a human foot. Later, in a postal sorting office in Ottawa, a package addressed to the Liberal Party's headquarters was found. It contained a hand. Other body parts were sent to elementary schools. Police believed Magnata had traveled to Europe. He'd even written blog posts detailing how he might disappear. In practice, he went clubbing, continued to use his mobile phone, and hooked up with other men. Once CCTV caught him in Germany, authorities were able to arrest him in an internet cafe in Berlin on 4th June, where he was sitting reading stories about himself. In 2014, a jury found Magnata guilty of first-degree murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder, and the maximum length sentences for the other crimes he was charged with, including publishing obscene materials, committing an indignity on a body, and criminally harassing the Prime Minister. He filed an appeal but later dropped it. He remains in a maximum security prison in Quebec.